Hello again. So I just wanted to share the last two journals that I had mentioned in my previous video um, where I've gone through where a lot of the materials have come from and I'll put the link to that first video in the description box below for this video. Um, so I'll just do a really quick flip through of these two since I've been through a lot of the stuff in the first video. So the size of these, um, I think these two, I cut them maybe half a centimetre um, or up to a centimetre longer than the, than the first journal. So it may be a little bit bigger lengthwise than a standard traveller's notebook. The first, the first one in the video yesterday was cut the right size. I think it was just these two. Not sure what happened there. But they're pretty similar. Uh, a few things are different, but a lot of it's the same. So I'll just quickly go through. So a lot of the same pages. They're from the same book. This is from a knitting magazine. I don't think I had any pages from that in the first book. Actually, maybe I did. This is um, off the spine of a little golden book. I had a bunch of little golden books that I pulled apart to make junk journals and the spine is really pretty so I kept the little papers and I've just been using them as little collage elements. Paper clipped on, just a little paper clip I made. Coffee dyed paper doily, some scraps of fabric and lace. That's really pretty, that lace. Oops, my in frame. This was a page out of a notebook. Um, someone had already written in it, the Auntie Edie. <laughs> so I've left it there. I just thought it was cute. In the centre of its pocket, I've put some scrap flower fabrics as well. Uh, same as the last journal. I think they're different fabrics though. One might be the same. So this is a fabric covered pocket. I've just taken some thick magazine page or something. I can't remember what. Yeah, thick magazine page and I've covered it with fabric and stitched around it. And there's a pocket on the back. Actually, I remember what happened with this one. Sorry, I made these journals a while back. The page that I used um, to make this pocket it was actually a thick page out of an anatomy book. And so if you look on the inside, you can see the little anatomy diagrams. And when I covered it with fabric, I'm fine to see the writing through it. I think it um, just gives it a bit of interest. But on the back here, you could see this really ugly skeleton picture with the inside showing. So I just put some uh, lace there to make another pocket to cover it up and pop some um, paper in there. It's a little button embellishment. I've put it there because of that page.
Just a journaling card. Ledger paper. Some fabric there. So this journal again kind of has a floral theme. These little pages, you'll see them in a lot of my journals. It was a little um, little game book of all card games. I think they're all patience type card games. And it was really old and um, falling apart. The cover was ripped and actually was falling out of the cover. And it was just so cute. I've been just putting them in my little junk journals. I've only got a couple of pages left now. Computer paper fold out, which is some fabric collage as a tab. This is a strip of the fabric um, that was left over, you know, trimming from the front cover. So all of the strips of fabric I've been saving and just making some little notebooks. This little notebook is actually, if you look on the back, it's made out of um, shopping dockets, coffee tie and shopping dockets. Um, that one shouldn't have been in there. That was one of the thermo papers. That doesn't really coffee dye that well, unless you like that look. But I think they come out really cute. I hope there's nothing <laughs> embarrassing in the shopping dockets that I've bought. Probably all McDonald's or something gross. Some of that pretty book page. Little journal papers. And then I've just made a little ticket book out of one of the stamp auction catalogue pictures. And some just using up the scraps from the cutoffs of paper. Okay, so that's one of them. You can, um, these will be available in my little Etsy shop, and you can differentiate them because of the bead. They've all got the same type of bead, but um, they're all a little different. Okay, so this is the third one. This one. The size was a little bit bigger than the standard Traveller's Notebook. Um, but I'll put the sizes in the Etsy um, description anyway. So it's another handmade bead. I really love making these. I got a bit addicted. <laughs> I made this whole jar full of them. And they look like lollies once they're sitting in a jar. They've all got that journal card in the front and little paper there again. This fabric was actually an old blouse of my grandmother's that um, had really pretty diagrams. So I've been using it sparingly <laughs> and I'm almost, um, almost finished it. Some coffee dyed paper um, and when I, I sit my paper in the sun to dry and I just stick a doily on top of it so it dries with that pattern. Oh, I don't know if you can see the sun's coming through the window now. It's another page from that solitaire book. Roughly. This is some um, paper scraps that I just stitched together. They're all coffee dyed and I, I don't want to throw them out because I think they're still really pretty. So I just trim them down and make up a full page. So that's some leather, that was ledger paper and some um, coffee dyed paper, plain coffee dyed paper stitched together. I think it re looks really cute.
this floral fabric. It's got these teeny little yellow flowers. It's so super cute. Another fabric covered um, piece of paper out of that book and some little fabric scraps. I really love the diagrams in these auction books. Um, these are pretty old auction books, I think they're from the 80s or something, but um, they're really gorgeous. The only thing I don't like is they've got a bit of a glossy um, glossy coating like a regular magazine. But I suppose you could always um, paint over it with some matte finish Mod Podge if you don't like that look. That's a little fabric scrap folded over. This is just a, if you're in Australia you might recognise this clothing label. Um, it's from Cotton On, and it's just such a cute little logo, so I put some coffee dyed paper. And this is actually the string that came on the, on the uh, tag, originally. Fabric. I love this computer paper. <laughs> so cool. It's another coffee dyed shopping docket. You probably recognise the yellow ones even if you're from America. They're Costco dockets. <laughs> I really like the way they come out when they when they're photo coffee. Um, sorry, coffee dyed. ticket book there. A little paper fall now. Actually the one thing missing I forgot to put in these is um, I've got two little book page envelopes um, that I'll paper clip in, one in each book anyway. So the same as the first journal. This is actually just a scrap of fabric with a jigsaw puzzle piece and a button. And this one is a scrap of cotton lace trim. And that state of love is a tag out of the back of a blouse or something. So I'll pop that one in that and this one in the other. Okay, that's it. Um, so those will be in my Etsy shop sometime this afternoon. And tomorrow I'd like to give you a video and uh, show you a few other random strange things that I've got planned for my Etsy shop ready to upload or a few things that have already been uploaded. Okay, thanks for watching. Bye.